Hi, I'm Sean Gibbons, Community Coordinator at Wizards of the Coast, and I'm going to give you a look at the new sealed play campaign from Magic 2014, Duels of the Planeswalkers. For those who aren't familiar with sealed play, it's a unique and really popular limited format in Magic the Gathering. It's called a limited format because players are given a limited amount of cards to use each time. In the case of sealed, you open six booster packs, and the cards you get from those are what you have to work with in order to build what you think will be the best deck possible. And that's part of the fun. You don't really know what's going to be the best deck possible. You don't know what the best combination is. You just kind of pick what you think will work. You make sure you include some creature removal, like Flames of the Firebrand right here. And you just go with it. And you play and you figure out what works and what doesn't work. And you can add and remove cards in between matches in order to make your deck what you want it to be. The Sealed Play campaign is available right when you start the game the first time. And you just jump right in and you start opening your six booster packs. You can browse through them to see what cards you got. And then they're all added to your sealed pool. And when you've got your pool, when you've opened all six booster packs, you go into the deck editor, which is what I want to show you right now. One thing that makes sealed campaign really sweet is it's the first time in any duels game that you've been able to make a deck from scratch. Adjust what land you want in it and how much. Uh, you can name it and then use it in a single player or online game. Hey, let's talk about my deck. As you can see, I got Door to Nothingness, which is an awesome card. Maybe not the best card ever. I think maybe Pillar Field Ox is better because it's the best creature of all time. But let's say I want to make a deck around Door to Nothingness. There are a couple ways you can do that. You start with a blank slate, so you can just add Door to Nothingness and you can add a bunch of cards you think is going to complement it, like Safe Passage. You can buy yourself a bunch of time and try to get the mana you need in order to crack Door to Nothingness. Or you can rely on the autocomplete option, and that will finish up the deck no matter what you have going on with it, and make it into a playable 40 card deck. And if you just add one card, it will just complete the deck around that one card and try to make the best deck it possibly can using the little bit of information that you gave it. So that's pretty cool, and it doesn't affect your ability to edit the deck after that. You can go in as many times as you want and add remove cards. You can change colors around. You can decide, no, I don't want to play green. I want to play blue and black. And you can just rename it and build it just the way you want as many times as you want. Oh. You can also adjust the amount of land that your single player decks have. That's a little off topic, but a lot of community members have been asking, so yes, you can adjust all the land in all the decks ever. That brings us to the sealed campaign itself. You'll face off against five enemy decks using your newly created sealed deck. Uh, each deck will represent a color of mana, so you'll go against a Liliana type, black themed deck, you'll go against a Jace deck. And beating those will give you access to three more booster packs, which you can then add and use to fine-tune your deck. To finish off the sealed campaign, you play against a big boss. I got Garrick, so I get to fight against his sealed deck. And when you've won, you've beaten the campaign. Now, if you decide that you really like sealed play, the base game comes with two free slots and more are available for purchase. And every time you select a new slot, you get a new set of six booster packs that you can open, and then three more that you unlock to make a unique deck every time. That pretty much explains sealed play for Magic 2014 Duels of the Planeswalkers, at least that's the end of my video. If you have any questions, follow us on Twitter, we're at wizards underscore magic, and we look forward to playing the game with you when it releases later this summer.